Hello and welcome. This is Nate. I've got a 1,038 square foot single wide for you. This one comes in on the affordable side. Not to say that this is your standard cookie cutter style single wide, because it is similar to a lot of single wides out there, except for one feature, the third bedroom. As you all know, generally on these single wides, that middle bedroom ends up being pretty small. Not the case in this one. Now, of course, now we can't get to the back. <laughs> you got bushes and stuff. So this one has a really large, in comparison, third bedroom. I was surprised. I almost didn't even film this till I walked into the third bedroom and it was like, okay, that's unique. I got to film this one. So this home can be found at Clayton Homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. And yes, they do have a sale going on. <laughs> 1500 down. No, I'm not the salesman. I'm not affiliated with Clayton Homes. So with that, Clayton Homes, once again, found in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Let's go ahead and head on in. So now this one they don't have decorated, so it's a little harder to show you, you know, size-wise how things are gonna work out. But you can see the living room even is a pretty decent size in here. You've got the sort of say vaulted ceiling in here. The rest of the home, once you get outside of the living room and kitchen area, as you can see over there, it goes to a flat ceiling. It's about seven and a half foot. So not quite an eight foot ceiling in there. So overall a pretty decent size living room area. Of course we've been showing some of the kitchen too so we might as well come over here. Now depending on how you decide to decorate the home you could either put yourself a small table right here in another version of this home that was a two bedroom that I filmed, they put a table coming off of here, had a chair on each side, and it came out to, I think, right about here. So you had a bunch of space over here yet to be able to get in and out. Didn't feel like it was in a cramped up area. Now we have the black Frigidaire appliances. If I remember right in the other one, same as this one, of course they haven't put the put everything in, but that goes way back all the way into that corner over there. We've got the three drawers next to your stove. So once again, the black Frigidaire appliance. I mean, overall, you've got a decent amount of counter space in your kitchen area here. And off the back of your kitchen is your utility room. So you've got your washer dryer hookups, of course. Now they're non-stackable or not. <laughs> they're not making you stack them. So you've got a full size area. That is your furnace. Now I don't know if you could probably fit a freezer there or not, possibly. And then that's the master bedroom. So we're gonna go this way. Now one thing that I also wanted to point out that's different than your standard <clears throat> single wides, your back door is by your master bedroom. Generally, the back door is located at the hallway 
So your front door is located by the hallway here and you can tell as we're coming down the hallway, it's not narrow. It's, it feels wide as you walk down the hallway. And then coming into bedroom number two. Now, as I said, this is usually the smaller bedroom. And that still is the smaller bedroom. But as you can tell when I'm in here, my voice is actually echoing in here. So it tells you that <laughs> you've actually got a pretty darn good sized middle bedroom. It's nice to see that somebody figured out a way to make this bigger. And then we've got our just standard size closet in here. And then we got our bathroom. Now it's part of making that bedroom a little bigger. The bathroom is a little bit smaller it seems. At least it feels that way. So you've got just your standard sink, small counter, single door cabinet. Just one light in here, no recessed lighting, no light above the sink. Maybe that is an option that you can get. Now this is a two-piece shower tub combo, not a single one-piece fiberglass. That may be something that for a few bucks more you can get. And then of course you've got your back bedroom that runs the full width of the home. And then once again, your closet is the same size as the one on the other side. Now I want, like I said, I wanted to point out that these ceilings, you can tell by looking at it that these ceilings are only about seven and a half foot. I can reach up and touch them easily. And I'm 5'11", something like that. I may be shrinking, I might be down to 5'10". You know, as you get older, you kind of shrink a little bit. So once you get out from the bedroom area and into this living area, it opens up quite a bit and feels much more open. So once again, back into the master bedroom. So this one once again runs the full width of the home. Your shower tub combo in here, once again. But this is a two piece shower tub combo. I do believe you can get this as a one piece or maybe even just a single shower. Kind of the smaller counter on your uh, sink in here. Maybe add on to it a little bit as the option. It might be something you can option in. So that might be something that you can option in. Can't forget to say hello to Raiden. And then we've got the closet space back here. Now there's not a lot of closet space, especially for hanging. So I would probably option in another rack right there. And then put me one of those foldable doors right here. So that way I can at least close the closet off from the bathroom a little bit. And with that, y'all should be going down there or leaving me a comment while I flip around and get you some price information on this home. All right, well, what did you think? I know this is just a, you know, your standard, not to say cookie cutter style single wide, but it is, you know, smaller single wide. This is the one, one of those that's on the affordable side. So it's not like a super fancy single wide, kind of like the one I just did. 
but I wanted to give you some price information on this one. And I did like the fact that that bedroom over there was larger than most single wide middle bedrooms. That was a feature I thought I had to show you. So with that though, the price on this one comes in. Of course, this is at time of filming in October of 2022. This price may or may not be the price that you pay, depending on where you have this home set up and delivered. This is in Raleigh, North Carolina at Clayton Homes. Depending on where you're at, there may be extra city, county fees, things like that. So with that, we come in at uh, $73,000 for this version of the home. Of course, if you needed that extra large space in the extra bedroom, that's a good price. Don't forget to leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you get notified when I upload videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.